and welcome back to the tutorial number 3 of our Android application uh, API tutorial. So, this uh, application is based on API. So, we need to create a new package. So, we'll name it Rudy uh, Image. So, we can just So once you already done that, so you can see here, so we have the image object, so we are going to create the object. <coughs> I will just create a new Java class, uh, call this one image model, model. So click OK. So if you try to look at our JSON, so we have an object. Okay, so that is inside of the object. Okay, but inside of the object, so we have another nested object inside of it. So we need to create. Uh, we need to uh, create this one if we are going to include it to return in our application UI so I will just create for the thumbnail uh, so inside of the image uh, model I will just uh, okay I will rename this one so I'm going to rename this refactor I will rename it to root image Okay, so I will uh, rename it. Uh, okay, so we can image. So model. So now the factor. Okay, so now. Now we need to create another. We need to create another Java class. I will name it for thumbnails. This is for thumbnail model. Uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. I just go and click OK. So. In the thumbnail. So in the thumbnail we go to the JSON. So we need to have the string. So in the thumbnail we need to define it string and the other that we need to be okay the width is an integer so we can just stop it and private int so we can just paste it and hide and we can define it as well as integer now we need to pass it into constructor so we need to create a constructor so we need to generate right click okay, we need to right click okay generate we need to pass the uh, tree as parameter so now uh, we have a constructor so we need to create a getter so generate a getter so I'll just choose the getter so hold shift down and generate getters for the thumbnail so now now uh, do the same for the other so like the small you can create a new class name it small okay so 
and the same uh, we need to copy the attributes actually so uh, because have the same attribute if you try to uh, look at in our JSON so they have the same uh, actually so we go here and you can see so we need to copy and paste and generate constructor so generate constructor pass the tree and generate creators uh, creators select and create another uh, uh, regular model for the image so uh, java class regular image click ok and copy uh, we need to copy the attribute so we need to copy that uh, ok and paste uh, generate the constructor select the tree click ok generate getters so you can generate getters ah ok so we need to generate the getters getter and select the tree so the other will be the large so we need to create another uh, java class for the large cards image and click ok so, we need to copy again the attributes so because they have the same attributes so we need to copy and paste and again we need to generate the constructor uh, click ok we need to create the getters uh, we need to generate the getters so So now we have successfully created for the uh, image model. So we can now uh, we can now close this one. So small image. So the thumbnail as well. So the recipe model we can leave it. So okay. So <coughs> I will just uh stop the video i'll just cut the video from this uh tutorial guys so in the next we will just continue it in the next video because uh the time is now a little bit uh long so we will continue the uh recipe mode in the next video so, so be sure to follow me in the next video guys so we need to create a new package i will just create a new package so okay i will create a new package Okay, I will call it model for models. If we have uh, more than one model, so I will just uh, create a new Java class. I will call this one uh, root object model. So I will just call this root object model. You can name it however you like to name it, but I will just prepare to name it like this. So I'll just click OK. So the reason why I call this uh, root object model because this is the uh, this is the uh, object that will represent uh, this curly uh, bracket. So this is the this will be the object that will hold the other object. So Remember that we have the object and inside of that object we have some attribute fields and another uh, and some object as well. We have also the uh, array of objects so we can see this one is coming as an array so we because of the square bracket symbol so we, we know that it is an array and inside of that array 
inside of that array we have another object so you can see it here so we have uh, you need to uh, pay attention so when you are creating your model because this is uh, most of the time where the, the developer will be uh, get lost uh, while creating the or uh, structuring the model or because sometimes uh, it's a little bit confusing whether we are going to use the array or uh, an object because uh, mostly if you're a beginner you, do, you don't have any background uh, about JSON objects so we need to really pay attention so uh, to know whether it's an object or it is an array so in that way we can really uh, uh, create the Java model correctly so so uh, back to the class so we have a model class and now inside of this model class we can we can actually okay we can actually uh, define some attributes if you want to for example this one if you want to return okay so all we need to do is we need to define it so uh, you can define it as integer or uh, or we can just leave it empty if you want or we can just we can just uh, immediately uh, create a model for this uh, recipe so okay so uh, in my case I don't uh, I will just a little bit empty for now because we need to create the uh, model for the recipe model I'll just call it recipe model recipe model okay recipe model so this is the model for the uh, recipe object that we have so in the array of objects so we can uh, we can actually uh, create a model so object so we have an object an array of object that has an object inside so how can we do that so this is an object so we have this object and now what we are going to do uh, we need to serialize uh, we can uh, declare it here so but first we need to define our recipe model so uh, recipe model we, we are going to get the label so we want to return the label so the label is a string so I need to declare uh, not static I need string uh, label so now uh, my Android Studio is not working so it's a little bit lag because I have only a uh, 4 gig of RAM so that is why so it is highly recommended that when you are developing an Android application it is good to have a uh, uh, bigger uh, capacity of RAM otherwise you will experience lag while in the development so I do highly recommend you should have uh, at least uh, 8 gig or 10 gigs of RAM so since I want also to return the data of the image so we are going to define private string image so now it is really uh, I really experience a lag so uh, now I will just close this one guys so to reduce the lag uh, 